Hi, my name is Kirk and welcome to my presentation, Effects of Climate Change and Social Inequality in the United States of America. What is climate change? Climate change is a gradual change in climate patterns over an extended period of time. It refers to the broader range of changes that are happening to our planet. Now, I've provided an image here that shows the climate risks, extreme events, and related impacts. I recommend you take in a moment to pause the video and look at the image. For more insight on climate change, I recommend you watch in the following video. I've provided the link. What is social inequality? In simple terms, social inequality is an unequal distribution of resources in a society. Social inequality is a multidimensional concept where groups are disproportionately affected and these groups are predominantly ethnic or racial minorities. These minorities would have lower income in a society, lower education opportunities, and reduced access to quality health care. Climate change affects everyone, but the way in which it affects everyone is not the same. Currently, we are experiencing a heat wave across America. Persons who have resources and the finances to combat the heat wave will not feel the effects as severely as compared to someone who doesn't have the resources or finances to do so. Something as simple as owning an AC unit to, to combat the heat wave exposes social inequality as disadvantaged groups don't have this resource or finances to afford an AC unit. Before I move on, let me explain what is meant by disadvantaged groups. These are groups of persons that experience a higher risk of poverty, social exclusion, discrimination, and violence than the general population, included but not limited to ethnic minorities, migrants, people with disabilities, isolated elderly people, and children. Now, according to Islam et al. 2017, climate change has three main effects on social inequality. The first one is increased exposure of disadvantaged groups to the adverse effects of climate change. The second one is increased susceptibility of disadvantaged groups to the destruction of climate change. And the third one, the reduction in the ability of disadvantaged groups to combat the effects of climate change. This image here highlights the vicious cycle that exists between social inequality and climate change and how they can be bidirectional. To explain the first point, the increased exposure of disadvantaged groups to the adverse effects of climate change. Now, with an increase in climate change and the effects across the world, the population that is affected the most are the poor, even though the poor contribute the least to climate change. With increasing global surface temperatures, the possibility of more droughts and increased intensity of storm will likely occur, and these will more than likely affect disadvantaged groups. As the picture shows, in 2018, the U.S. had 14 separate billion dollar weather and climate disasters, a result of climate change. With the increased occurrence of climate disasters, minority groups will be more exposed and impacted by these disasters. On the right hand side, I have the U.S. 2020 billion dollar weather and climate disaster that has occurred from January to June of this year, 2020. explain Islam's second point as it relates to the U.S., which is the increased susceptibility of disadvantaged groups to the destruction of climate change. With more frequent natural disasters caused by climate change, who do you think are going to be affected the most? Yes, the disadvantaged groups, which each rise in global temperatures, in each rise in sea level, more financial damage and displacement threatens the disadvantaged groups. Exacerbation of inequality can happen through disproportionate erosion of physical, human and social assets. The disadvantaged groups in the USA living on the coast particularly are most vulnerable to the destruction of hurricanes and flooding. As the image shows, as flooding increases, shows as a rate of poverty for the disadvantaged group. The third point is reduction in the ability of disadvantaged groups to combat the effect of climate change. What this means is that with each occurrence of a natural disaster caused by climate change, the disadvantaged groups will be more at a disadvantage because they don't have the means to combat climate change, they don't have the catastrophe insurance, they don't have the finances, the social, the physical assets to combat the effects of climate change. After each hurricane, after each flooding, after each natural disaster, those assets are depleted, reducing their ability to combat future natural disasters. 
what can we do to stop the effects of climate change and social inequality in the U.S.? The main thing that we can do is as a country, we need to reduce our global carbon emissions. We need to reduce our carbon footprint. We need to look for alternative solutions to fuel and energy that aren't harmful to the environment. We need to create laws and policies to limit companies and the amount of greenhouse gases they emit. To combat social inequalities related to climate change, we can advocate for disadvantaged groups to be given the necessary resources to cope and combat with the changes of climate, such as storm shelter, catastrophe insurance, increased community infrastructure. The U.S. government should help in the event of climate disasters with the rebuilding of communities and giving them the necessary resources they need to restart or rebuild hope to the effects of climate change. Now these are just some references from the sources I used to compile this presentation. Thank you for viewing my presentation and I hope that you enjoy this presentation as much as I did learning about climate change and its effects on social inequality. Thank you.